Hello, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to qualify for a mortgage if you don't have a, a two-year work history. And you might uh, see uh, a lot of uh, lenders posting online, or you know, if you if you question them about getting a mortgage, they're they're going to indicate that they absolutely must have a two-year work history. And it is true that most lending guidelines do require a two-year work history. However, there are some exceptions or there are some ways to get around it if, if you have a legitimate excuse. And um, you know, maybe excuse is the, uh, is the wrong word to use in this, in this situation, but there are, there are times when not having a full two-year work history is acceptable. And so let me take you through just a couple of examples. There may be more. If you're in the lending business and, or you're, you're a realtor and you, you know of any other um, uh, exceptions that have, that have been accepted, by lenders in the past that I didn't mention here, just post them down below. That'd be great for everyone. So, uh, you know, one of the first ones that's absolutely acceptable is if you're in school. Let's say you graduated college six months ago, and um, and now you've got a full-time job. You've you've been collecting paychecks. Things are good, and you want to you want to apply for a mortgage. You want to buy your home. Well, you're not going to have two-year work history. Nobody says you have to be you know, two years out of college to before you can buy a home. So the fact that you were in school and uh, studying for your degree, or, you know, maybe it wasn't a college, maybe you were uh, learning a trade, maybe you were getting trained to be a, you know, a, a tradesman, a, a plumber, or whoever, whatever it is. Uh, you know, I'm not that familiar with those trades and exactly what type of training you need to go through. But let's say you were going through a training process to learn your craft and that's what you were doing and you weren't actually working. That's perfectly acceptable. And uh, as long as you provide some documentation that shows you were doing that, and now you've got documentation that shows you're working and you've got pay stubs and you might be able to get a letter from your employer that shows, yes, uh, Eric is employed and uh, we intend to keep him in the near future, then that's a a great example of a, of a an exception to the uh, two-year work history rule. Another one is if you're in the military, and this isn't just for VA loans. This is just this is for any any uh, mortgage. If you are serving in the military, which is why you weren't working recently, that's an acceptable exception to the two-year employment rule. And as long as you have now established steady employment and you've got pay stubs here and all the other criteria is met for your qualification then yes uh, you can still get a mortgage um, if you were a mother that recently gave birth and you were at home for a little while uh, taking care of your newborn six months maybe even a year you can get an exception for that as well especially if you were working before you had this hiatus, and now you're back to work. I, th I think that you need to be back to work already and have some paychecks coming in. Not that you intend to go back to work, but you need to be back to work. And then, and then uh, yes, you can, uh, you can uh, purchase the home or get the mortgage. If you're currently employed uh, by your employer, but you're just on leave, and they provide a letter indicating that yes, you're still employed here, then that will likely suffice too. Maybe you have a different medical condition um, that's unrelated to, uh, to uh, you know, giving birth. So, uh, you know, maybe you have an unfortunate illness that, that sidelines you and you can't work for a while. You know, documentation there will, is, an, is an exception. If you're on disability for any reason, uh, the length of disability might matter. Hopefully you're receiving disability income, which can be counted as, uh, as income, although potentially not in, uh, high enough to qualify for the mortgage you want. But the lender or the mortgage program might, may allow disability income or for you to be on disability as a reason to not meet the two-year employment rule. Uh, again, it's, it's okay to have this gap in employment for, for these reasons I mentioned just not too long of a gap. If you just lost your job and you know things are tough right now, there are a lot of people losing their job, and maybe it took you a few months to, to get another one, 
you know, the faster you can get, I know everyone's looking for, for a job, the, the faster you can get a job and close that, that gap between, uh, between your last job and your new job, the better off you'll be and the better chances you have to get approved. So um, I think that I probably covered all the uh, exceptions and the, the ways you can still qualify for a mortgage without a two-year work history. Um, the only other thing, that, one of the things that's actually mo more difficult to do is if you were employed on a on a, a W-2 job where you get paychecks from an employer and now you've started a business and that business is less than two years old, that is going to be where you might have a little difficulty. There are a couple of lenders though that still might be able to help and grant the two-year exception. I know of a couple myself, but that one is actually a little bit more difficult than some of the other scenarios I just discussed. So anyhow, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to uh, provide a link to an article where I talk more about this in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, come back to see the next one.